good morning everyone hope everyone are doing fine and safe at home so as we are beginning with new chapter that is chapter 2 nutrition in animals so we studied about nutrition in plants in previous class so we shall study about nutrition in animals in today's class under that chapter we will be studying introduction to this chapter and different ways of taking food let's begin in this chapter we will learn about mode of nutrition in animals and process of digestion in various organisms like humans ruminants amoeba etc so you can make out in the picture humans eating food animal eating food that is cow eating grass and amoeba eating food you can make out in this small video clip right as we already know mostly plants are autotrophs right i said you the definition for autotrophs in the previous class when i was teaching nutrition in plants right auto means self trophs means preparing or nourishment so that is self preparation of food plants always prepare their own food that is said to be autotrophs and they can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis and we also know that animals are heterotrophs heterotrophs in the sense they cannot synthesize their own food instead they depend directly or indirectly on other organisms right they get their food from plants directly by eating them or indirectly by eating animals isn't it as you can see many of the animals picture is been posted here all organisms require food for their growth whether it might be a rat cow cat tiger lion birds or fishes right all organisms require food so why they need food for their growth and repair and functioning of the body animal nutrition includes nutrition requirements mode of intake of food and its utilization in the body here we will be knowing the different ways of taking food so there are different ways of every organism consuming a food not every organism can depend on plants not every organism depends on animals so there are various uh, nature of consuming food so that is what we are looking into this particular slide you can see that bees are sucking the nectar from the flower and humming bird is also sucking nectar from the flowers nectar in the sense that sweet uh, liquid like thing that is there uh, in the flower and right so this bees and humming birds usually suck nectar from that and it collects and specially bees will store this nectar in the form of honey right and here you can see the third picture so animal feeding a little one with a milk right and this is how the different way of taking food infants of human and many other animals feed on mother's milk right and snake like python swallow the animals which they prey upon some aquatic animals they filter tiny food particles floating nearby and feed upon them so this is the various way of taking food by different organisms right and there are uh, various examples also you can make out uh, by looking into your surrounding how animals make use of food and how they uh, consume food in different way it depends on each and every organisms there is an amazing fact about starfish so i hope everyone 
have seen starfish and the amazing fact about this starfish will be going to amaze you people a lot and the scientific fact is like that what happens in case of starfish and how it feed on animals is starfish always feeds on animals which is covered by a hard shells this hard shell is made up of calcium carbonate and once these uh, hard shell covered animals if they come out of the shell what happens is this starfish will uh, start popping out its own stomach through mouth to consume this soft food of other animal okay and later it let stomach get inside the body and the food is getting digested so this is something amazing the stomach itself is coming out of the mouth and that is going to swallow the animal's soft body and again it inserts its own stomach inside and it slowly digests the food so this is something that amazes everybody right so you have to know this fact thank you children i hope everyone had followed a new chapter and new concept about nutrition in case of animals okay i want you people to just recall a few definitions and few concepts of nutrition in plants about basic definition of nutrients autotrophs heterotrophs okay just recall that and continue with this concept so that the concept will be clear for you guys okay see you all have a good day